You're looking at what in all likelihood is the fastest car on the planet. If you haven't heard of the Bloodhound LSR, I'm stoked to get to tell you about it. These guys are on a mission to break the current land speed record, which was set back in 1997 at 760 miles per hour. But saying breaking it might be an understatement. The Bloodhound team is hoping to hit 1,000 miles per hour on the ground. Think about that. That's nearly twice as fast as the normal cruising speed of a Boeing 787. The team spent the last few weeks doing test runs on the LSR in a South African desert. In case it's not obvious, LSR stands for Land Speed Record. They started at 200 miles per hour and are incrementally going up by 50 miles per hour with each run. The point of this is to see how the onboard equipment holds up and how the chassis responds to these high speeds and different conditions. Now, speaking of conditions, to make sure that the vehicle has as smooth of a run as possible, they cleared out more than 16,000 tons of rock from a dry lake bed. Those people in the orange are the workers who did all that labor. And if you're like me, you're wondering just how much space you need for something like this. Well, that track they cleared out is 12.4 miles or about 20 kilometers. But to give you reference to just how fast this thing is going, even with all that space, the team is still worried about running out of desert. That's why they're testing a two parachute braking system along with the traditional friction brakes. Okay, let's watch now as the LSR hit its fastest speed yet, going from 50 to 334 miles per hour in 13 seconds. Now for this round of testing, the team is targeting a top speed of 500 miles per hour. And they've got some serious experience on their side. The man behind the wheel is former Royal Air Force pilot Andy Green. He set the current land speed record more than 20 years ago in the Thrust SSC. Not only did that car set the record, it was also the first vehicle to break the sound barrier without leaving the ground. Okay, back to the Bloodhound. So right now, it's powered by a Rolls-Royce EJ200 jet engine. That's the same engine found on a Eurofighter Typhoon. That gives it nearly 10 tons of thrust. But when the team eventually tries to hit the 1,000 mile per hour mark, they're gonna add a rocket propellant system. Now, we don't have too many details on that just yet. The wheels are solid aluminum discs. That means there's no risk of a blowout. The flip side of that being that they don't provide too much grip. Okay, so what's next? This round of testing is scheduled to wrap up in November. Then Bloodhound says it hopes to break the current land speed record late next year. As far as that goal of hitting 1,000 miles per hour, well, there's no timetable for that just yet. But I, for one, can't wait to see how this plays out. Given that most of us can agree that records are basically made to be broken these days, how high can a record like this go before science says we can't go any further? I wanna hear what you think in the comments. That's gonna do it for this week. I'm Andy Altman. I'll see you in the future.